Today we're going to look at a simple but effective Node Red automation to control your lights in any room. I'm going to be using the Everything Presence 1 in this video, but you can use any motion or presence sensor as you wish. Stick around till the end of the video because I'm going to be challenging you guys to see if you can create the same automation that I'm creating in Node Red in Home Assistant with the Home Assistant automation. Let's start with the basics. You're going to need to drag this event state and in the event state, you need to configure the actual presence sensor or motion sensor that you intend to use. I'm using the occupancy sensor. So there are a few ways that you can actually find out which entity is the correct one. You can go into your integrations. So for example, I'm using everything present sensor one and I can click on the entity list. And here I have my entity list where I know that this binary sensor kitchen occupancy is the one that I want to use. So now that we've got that working, the second thing to note is that in node red, if you're not familiar, we have two little squares after each node. This indicates basically that if this is true, so we've configured this with if the state is on, the true will be defined with this line and you can connect this to the new block. You can do the exactly the same thing with false statements. So you can have presence that can have present detection off and then you can use the false line to connect to the next node. Now the best practice is to really always try to do things in express them as true because that's just going to be easier to understand, especially if you're going to be sharing it with someone else. There's two things that I'm actually checking afterwards. And first I'm checking out if the lights are already on. And the reason why I'm doing this is someone could have manually switched the lights on. And secondly, there could be another automation that for some reason switched the lights on. Quite recently, I spoke about a or type of automation that you can start when your TV kicks off. So if you have a television in that room and it's nighttime and you maybe have some ambience light going on, what you don't want to do is that the next person that comes into the room, then not all the lights turn on as bright. So that's why I have this defined that basically if the light is already on in the room, then this doesn't do anything. So how do we do this? So you see this like little eye, it's the current state and current state is you just need to set the state right here, the entity ID and then basically is, is not or whatever you're actually doing. And you can also set a four if you want it, so this is the duration that the uh, state is in. So if you set, for example, two minutes, you're basically saying it has to be on for two minutes at least before this condition is true. And the second condition is quite self-explanatory, is dark. So I'm looking at the illuminance sensor. So with the everything present sensor, I do have the uh, illuminance that so you can see it over here. And you set the illuminance to the point that where you want your lights to turn on. So here you might need to tinker depending on your room and your own uh, convenience level. I'm a little bit more energy conservative, so I prefer to have it turn on when it's completely dark or very, very close to being dark. That's my preference, so I've set it at five. The best way to know when you wanna set it, have the sensor run for 24 hours at least, and then click on the sensor itself and you can see the actual graph peaking up and down. And you can actually see at what point the sensor change values, and then you know what value you need to set. Now, you could have these set up in a different way, so you could have these connect direct, something like this, but what this would do, basically, if you had this set up like this, basically, either one of these two true, then it would trigger. So, it might trigger if it's dark, but the lights are still on, and it might trigger if the lights are on, but it's not dark. So these last five blocks over here are going to do the actual turning on. This is a switch block. This block is actually quite cool. It enables you to have two different paths. Okay, similar to how these uh, did with the true and false, you can do something similar with you like a little bit of a switch. And here I'm just looking at basically the current time. So if the time of day is between uh, 10 p.m. and just before 6 a.m. in the morning, then I'm gonna be turning on the night light. So once you've actually set the entity that you want to control, which is right here, and you set your turn on, your light turn on, here you can configure different parameters. These are data parameters, which is similar to how Home Assistant does it. So you can set your RGB color and your brightness. These two are the exact same node as you can see, and I will drag it over here. It's the call service one. So if you're looking to do something similar you just configure this in the same way what i normally do i get quite lazy if i configure one and just copy and paste and then just change the entity over here 
and that makes it super simple. Remember also to give everything a name and label it as accurately as possible so you actually can see the difference. I simulated this uh, just uh, a few minutes ago so you can see that the night light turned on after 10 p.m. so this path was uh, achieved and just before 10 p.m. the last time this was turned on was at 21.57 so you can see that this is actually working and testing quite well. If you still are not sure you can also create these two debug nodes. These are not compulsory and you get the debug nodes from common. Just drag it here and then you connect these up and then you can go to if you go to the settings over here and navigate to view and you can just go and add the debug message and you can actually see it all flowing through. Remember that before you test it, you need to deploy it, which is this button over here, which will make it go live like this. Now, how do we turn them off? It is super simple. Now, because I'm using a presence sensor, the presence sensor and it's everything presence one, you can configure a cooldown within the uh, integration itself here i'm not being i'm being quite aggressive actually with this one minute so as soon as there's no occupancy then i'm turning it off now when i was using a motion sensor i was a lot more flexible had it set to 20 minutes because motion is not the same as present so this is much more accurate to pick up like the subtle movements or actual people being in the room maybe just watching tv and not moving much or eating some food. So the motion sensor would basically tell the lights to switch off if it was set up like this. This the advantage of using this an occupancy sensor, anyone that you can actually pick up, is that you can turn your lights off sooner, which means that you can save energy and help the environment pretty much. So how do we do this? Pretty much similar to this presence detected, you have the exact same node. I'm adding a, a little bit more of a description in the name, no presence for one minute, put the four, put the state off and pick your occupancy sensor similar to this really turn off kitchen and dining lights this is uh, exactly the same as this you could just copy and paste it around depending on which one you're doing first and remember just to switch this from the on to the off and that's done click done saved and the debug mode again it's similar if you want to do your message and you want to just see how things are structured on learn node red you can do that don't really need it click deploy and you're done now if you got value out of this video remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one if you want to take up my challenge i want to see if you can actually in the comment section down below maybe you want to send me an email with some screenshots of your home assistant automation that's going to pretty much replicate this structure hope you enjoyed this video if you want to learn more about home assistant then click this video over here this is Joe from smart makers see you in the next one ciao